Hi everyone, this is Pastoad and welcome to this new Buildcraft video. Today I would like to show again some kind of a Buildcraft next gen preview. Uh, as you know, in the context of Buildcraft 6.0, we resurrected the builder. This is now pretty stable and it's time to get back to the exciting new features for next gen. First of which is the robots. So this video is a quick update on what is implemented today uh, for Buildcraft 6.1, which is going to be the next version of the next-gen branch, uh, which will implement in particular uh, those robots features. Let's uh, get started. So, um, and it's raining. Won't rain anymore. So. Um, one of the things that this will allow you to do is to create um, programs for your robots. So the first item that uh, he's introduced in this new version is uh, this new redstone board. You can see that the recipe looks very close to the recipe of a blueprint uh, or template, except that in the center, this time, you need a piece of redstone. So. Uh, that allows you to craft a redstone board which will be used to write programs which will then be used on robots to uh, have them do uh, many different things. Um, here I'm going to take this blank redstone board and if I place it to the assembly table I can tell that I can see that the assembly actually this went very fast uh, probably a small glitch. Let me try again. Yeah, there was some power left in the table. Anyway, so you can tell that uh, now the assembly table is writing a program in the board. This program is actually going to be random. Um, so depending on how many times you run it, uh, you may or may not find the very board uh, that you're looking for. But anyway, uh, in this tutorial, in this um, preview, sorry, there's only one board that can be written, which is the uh, picker program, which will be used to create a robot picker a bit like the um, uh, the next gen preview that was done a couple of months ago. Anyway, now that I've got these uh, programs, I need a robot. Uh, I'm going to craft one, and to craft one, I'm going to need another item, which is a, um, a redstone crystal. So now you might remember this from the earlier versions released on the 6.0 branch of Buildcraft. Uh, it has been removed from 6.0, is added again in 6.1, and to build, actually I may have everything that I need, to build a redstone crystal, I need a block of redstone, and then you can see that here I'm crafting the crystal. Now this item is uh, very expensive, it's going to take a lot of time to craft. Uh, the reason for that is that it's uh, very powerful and potent, so uh, that's kind of a, um, a milestone, if you will, in the series of objects that you create in Buildcraft. Anyway, uh, we're not going to wait for it here, but uh, once this is crafted, it will be possible to create a base robot uh, using the, the recipe here, so uh, the crystal in the middle, some circuits uh, at the bottom, and then some iron ingots are uh, mainly for the shape of it. And this allows to create a robot. Um, actually, I've got one here. Now, this robot doesn't know how to do anything. I need to put the, um, uh, the board in it in order to um, have it do something that I'm going to go to the integration table and I'm going to use my base robot on the left hand side here and take one board that has the proper program on it and here we go here we go as you can tell I've connected those two things and then created a robot with a picker program now if I um, actually before placing the robot, I'm going to place some items to pick, okay? So, let's just, uh, I wanted to take some block of redstone again, and let's see, to demonstrate that, I'm going to need glass again, okay? So, here, 
I am placing, let's say, three blocks of redstone. And I'm closing now. So um, this is a um, kind of a um, um, fort, I guess. Anyway, a place where I'm placing objects. And the only way to get in is to go through this entrance here. Now, the robot algorithm have been enhanced. In particular, they now understand uh, path detection and collision detection. So if I place the robot in the, on the pipe like that, uh, the robot is going to grab items and as a matter of fact uh, as before this one seems to have found an item to pick over there which kind of kills my demonstration I'm going to place another one here we go mm, nope not good still not good okay that's frustrating seems to be a lot of items to pick all over the place and nobody wants to get the item I just placed on the ground. That's odd. I promise it worked just perfectly uh, when I showed it initially. Oh, good. Well, it just happened so that there's a lot of items all over the place and uh, those robots went to fetch them and obviously there's some improvements to be made. But anyway, my point being that here the robot was able to find the hole and to just uh, go through it as opposed to um, going through walls uh, as they would have done with the previous version of Buildcraft uh, at least the, um, the preview that was made a few months ago and you can see that here the robot is uh, getting the items and this one uh, didn't find anything else to get and release its item to the pipe anyway that was a very early preview of Buildcraft 6.1. So again, the next major release on the uh, next gen branch, uh, it won't be out before, I believe, a couple of months. Uh, but um, anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope to talk to you soon. Bye bye.